Hi everyone, welcome back for session five of the Create More Fear Less video series self-love workout. My name is Bethany Harvey and I'm a middle school counselor and professional dancer and I created the self-love workout to share with you some creative ways of building your self-esteem through combining positive affirmations and dance movement. So um, the reason our self-esteem is important is because your self-esteem impacts every area of your life. Your self-esteem is essentially how you feel about yourself, um, your belief in your ability to succeed, um, your self-confidence. So it's really important to have good self-esteem because if you don't, it really is going to impact every area of your life. Um, so that's why we're doing this. Um, each video, we're going to learn a different eight count phrase that was created um, based on a, an affirmation. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Each video we start out with um, an activity called the worry timeout. So for this activity, you're going to need something to write with and you're gonna need a, a little piece of paper. It could be a scratch piece of paper. Um, and then if you have any kind of a little like pouch or box or cup or anything like that, um, you're gonna put the piece of paper into that in just a moment. So, um, for this activity, what I want you to do is think about a worry that you have, maybe something that's been on your mind lately. Um, you know, all of us have worries. Um, it's a normal part of life. Sometimes when our worries become too overwhelming or they take up too much space in our mind, it can really um, impact our mood and really kind of take up too much of our attention. So what we're gonna do right now is um, kind of try to take a little break from our worry so that we can focus on something a little bit more fun. So um, I want you to take a second and just kind of think about um, something that you've been worried about. Um, if you don't have any worries, then just think about something that's been on your mind lately. And then when you have that in your mind, I want you to write that on your piece of paper. So I'm going to think about my worry and then write mine down. My pen is not working. Okay, so um, once you have your worry written down, um, you can, if you're with someone, you can choose to share it with them. Um, sometimes it helps to share your worry to kind of get it out of your head. Um, sometimes also when we share our worry, we realize that um, sometimes our worries are similar to other people's worries. Um, and if you don't want to share it or say it out loud, that's okay. You don't have to. Just kind of take a look at the word for a second. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and share my worry with you. Um, something that's been on my mind lately is my family. Um, I think a lot about them. I have a really big family, lots of siblings. My parents are much older. So sometimes I just, you know, worry about my family and their health and if they're doing okay. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do with my worry is I'm going to stick it in this pouch that I have. I'm not ignoring the worry or expecting that it's going to go away. I'm just going to kind of give myself a little break from that worry for right now. So you can go ahead and um, do the same thing if you'd like. Just kind of set your worry aside. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with some movement. I'm going to lead you through um, a little warm-up to some music. Um, go ahead and just follow along the best that you can. Um, and let's just try to have fun.
Okay, all right, nice job. I hope that was fun for you. The point is just to kind of get your body moving a little bit. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and teach you the eight count phrase that I made for today. This phrase was inspired by the affirmation that I wrote. The affirmation is, I am smart and capable of achieving my goals. I am smart and capable of achieving my goals. So why I wrote this affirmation is because um, it was just kind of relevant for me. I know that sometimes I have a tendency to compare myself to other people um, and sometimes think maybe I'm not smart enough or I'm not as good um, as other people are and I know that that's not true, but that just tends to be a story that I tell myself sometimes. So to counter that, I wrote that affirmation that I can look at and tell myself. And in this case, I made an eight count dance phrase to that affirmation. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and show you that uh, combination now. So just follow along and do the best that you can. Okay, <clears throat> so you're gonna start out stepping right, left, right, left, okay? So the feet again are just gonna step right, left, right, left. And as you do that, you're gonna shift the weight of your hips a little bit. So right, left, right, left and your weight is just going to follow the foot that you're stepping on okay so you're going to step out one two three four okay and as you're doing this your hands are going to come right left right left so what you're doing is as you're stepping your right palm is going to come up and then left palm up and as you step back, your palm is gonna go down and then down, okay? So right, left, right, left. So you're picking something up and looking at it and then placing it down, okay? So right, left, right, left. And if you want, you can look at your hand to kind of add a little bit more style. So we're gonna do just that again with counts, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice job. That's half of the phrase already. So after you do those four counts, you end on your left foot. So one, two, three, four. The next move that we're gonna do is pretty similar to the warm up, um, where we do this toss movement you're just gonna add a little bit of a hop, okay? So you're gonna step on your right foot, right? Jump left, okay? Right, hop left, and your, your left foot comes up a little bit. So five, six, okay? As you do that, your arm is gonna do a little toss like you do in the warm up, okay? So we're gonna tack that onto the beginning. So you go one, two, three, four. Step right, hop. Okay, so right, hop. What we're gonna do is a little change of the weight. So your left foot is gonna come back, step and step, okay? This is called a ball change. So your left foot is up. You're gonna step back, left, right, left. Left, right, left. And I'll do it facing this way so you can see in here. Left, right, left, okay? Your arm, as you do that, you toss, you're just gonna bring it down, okay? Or if you wanna add your own style, you're welcome to do that. So we're gonna try it from the beginning, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, okay? Hope that went okay. Um, let's go ahead and try it again with cats. We're gonna do it three times in a row with counts. So if you get lost, just um, try to catch up on the next one, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nice work. We're gonna try it two more times. This time we're gonna do it um, and we're gonna say the affirmation out loud as we do it, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. I am smart and capable of achieving my goals. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. I am smart and capable of achieving my goals. Okay, good job, nice work. Um, so I hope you had fun with that. I know we went kind of fast, um, but as long as you do your best, that's all that matters. Um, I would encourage you to make your own affirmation. You know, maybe you can start by thinking about a worry or something that's been on your mind and then write down some simple words or a phrase and then try moving around to it. You can put on a song that you like and kind of um, see what you come up with, okay? So good work. Thank you for being here and hopefully I'll see you next time.